right, Nate? It's been turning into something of like a, a white whale when it comes to MMA interviews, you know that? I don't know what a white whale is. <laughs> it means that you don't do many of them. Yeah. How come? <clears throat> and it, it just doesn't necessary to <clears throat> talk all the time. I mean, it seems like, uh, if anything, in, in the sport of mixed martial arts, it's like people want to do more interviews and you're doing less. I mean, explain the mindset behind that. I think it's always been like that. Like, I remember doing The Ultimate Fighter. <clears throat> I did The Ultimate Fighter and uh, every day you did a confessional, like an interview where you talk about what happened today, what the, the review today, mm -hmm. after about three days. I was already not used to interviews. Three or four days, I'm like, dude, what do you want me to say? Since yesterday, I slept and I woke up. <clears throat> and then I was doing these interviews irritated and not not um, having anything to give. So I was like, there's no point in doing this. And then they, they, they call you every day on the house phone and they're like, come over here, send Nate over, send this guy over, send in a row. And then uh, one of the days, they called her like, Nate, Nate, the phone. And I'm like, tell him I'm not here. And everybody's looking at me like, what are you talking about? Don't, you know, it's yeah. UFC calling, and I was like, I'm not home right now. And they're watching us, camera, and they're all laughing, but they're like, what the hell is that? So I just didn't go and do the end, the confessional for like like a week. Yeah. And they call every day to go over so they don't miss nothing. And then after a week of, of not doing interviews, a week of shit happened. And so I, so I spit a bunch of stuff about what happened. I was ready for an interview. And then when the show aired, it was basically every piece of interview that I did was in that one weekend. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think it was, it's not necessary to sit there and do an interview if you don't have nothing entertaining to talk about. And yeah. I mean, you, you do a lot of different things that, that other guys don't, but it seems to work out so well for you. I mean, why do you think you're so naturally good at, at just getting people to care about what you're doing. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> don't know. It's just the way it goes. <laughs> well, do you feel like you have a lot to say now, though, since you haven't been talking for three years? I mean, you have to have something to say, right? Yeah, if you could get it out of me. I don't, I don't <laughs> really have nothing off top, but we could dig around, yeah. see what happens. <laughs> I mean, your brother's kind of the same way, too, right? I mean, it's, uh, it's kind of a, a Diaz thing like you guys avoid interviews is that something you learned from your brother oh uh, I talk I talk all day around Nick and he's like stop talking so I don't I don't I might come off the same but we're, we're different mm -hmm. in a lot of different ways so I mean why don't you just set the scene of, of where we're at and what you're doing this week what we're doing right now mm -hmm. right now we're in LA uh, Venice I'm training at Kron's gym, Kron Gracie. He trains with me a lot. And um, I never even came to LA <clears throat> um, training for any of the fights. And then when he came down and helped me train for, he came down and helped, helped Nick train for something. And then he came down and helped me train when I fought Ben Henderson. And then he was going in a, in a match against, in a jiu jitsu match against. Uh, Shane Yaoki, so he, so he flew me and some of my partners out to train at his gym and he took us to Venice Beach and and uh, all kinds of cool natural food places and, mm -hmm. and uh, vegan places they got around here and I was like, what? There's a whole, whole another part of California with all kinds of good stuff, so I kind of use it now. As, he still comes down to train with me too, because he likes that it's kind of locked down, shut down, training camp lifestyle there. Mm -hmm. And he comes there and does weeks and re to recover from here. And then all come down here to train with him to recover from home. And uh, that's usually the only thing I leave home for is, is some better training. <clears throat> so that's what I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. I came here, I've been doing, doing fight camp around uh, home and uh, the area with my team at the Nick Diaz Academy. And then I came out here, set up some good sparring. I met with my boy Ellie Suckback. He, he locked me in with some good sparring out here. <clears throat> so I'm doing a week here. I got a house and uh, that's what we are doing. And today, 
we got an interview. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like being in fight camp again? Um, it, it's what I been I lived in for so many years, so it felt not. <clears throat> it felt like when I wasn't in fight camp for a while, like something, <laughs> like a fight camp needed to happen. <laughs> really? Yeah. And that's been three years of that. Yeah. So why did why didn't a fight camp happen? Well, the same thing was going on. I was doing all the training. There was just no fights, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, the, it was just a little bit. I was, I was, I felt like I won my last fight. <clears throat> I'm not gonna cry over spilled milk. It's just what it is, and especially in this UFC game, because I've lot of lost a lot of fights that I didn't lose. And uh, I don't, I don't. Even if, like, let's just say, I don't, I don't more, more so than I think. Like I didn't, I more for sure didn't lose that fight. You know what I'm saying? But they're treating it like they treated it like you lost. Go down the list, get out of here, type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When not when 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 he lost the first time to me, uh, it was the biggest thing, and he needed his rematch, and all he's obsessed with Nate, and all this marketing towards how much he needs to get this back, and how great he is for actually jumping in there and doing it. I'm like, hold up, what about all the rematches I've always wanted? That's the shit of what I should have jumped into my contract. Like, hold up, if I'm gonna do this rematch, I want all my rematches that you guys never gave me. Mm. I should have done that, but you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I've been like lost a lot of good months of my life just sitting there sweating fights I've lost that I didn't lose. And uh, I'm like, you guys paid me way too much to be sitting here playing this stupid game and doing what you guys <clears throat> want me to do. So I'm cool, I'm gonna step it out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then two years flew by. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and I'm, the whole time I'm sitting there waiting, like, when is somebody gonna step this stupid up and start calling for a fight because that's what I, that's what I did. I'm like, you're the guy getting all the love and all the all all the that I've worked hard for, and they're just handing it over and promoting it. Mm -hmm. And and uh, I but I put work in. And if you ain't sitting there, if you're not thinking that you this guy's getting what you work for, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you you're not working hard enough. Mm -hmm. Cause that's thought it, that's thought of over miles and rounds and and uh, over training f thoughts. You know what I'm saying? A lot a lot of work was put into those thoughts. And if you're not spending that and saying that, then you're not shouldn't even be in that position. So I I saw what was happening. I went out and I took it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, this is what I'm about to do. Mm -hmm. And. Two years flew by. I'm like, I ain't gonna be begging nobody to fight. Fight. I ain't gonna. I don't need to fight. I beat the best guy at the moment. I beat the best guy, and you guys are just treating me like van vanished. Then I'm like, all right, well, f me, so f you. But then after a certain while, I'm just like, what's wrong with all these fighters? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm a bigger draw, bigger fight than than anybody in the game, and you guys are just sit back and like not participate and like. Black sheep to me, and not black sheep, it's like, uh, what is it called? Ostracized. When they're like, put me on the outskirts of the whole conversation. He dropped from the rankings. He dropped, he's this, that. He's turning down fights. I'm like, yeah, dude, you're just gonna, you're gonna start offering me prelim fighters. Mm -hmm. And be like, oh, he, does, he turned this down. Like, you guys were using that against me. You know what I'm saying? Well, it almost sounds like because I'm sure you know this. A lot of people thought that you were just waiting for Connor. Yeah, but I was not waiting for him for a second. What you're describing sounds like you weren't waiting for Connor, but you wanted someone that that made sense, yeah. and you had reached a point where like almost yeah. Like, well, I'm out done. I had done the whole sense. game. I'm the top two two fighter in the in the whole game right now. Still three, mm -hmm. man, John Jones, three. You know what I'm saying? And if like and 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 that's not fighting for three years. Mm -hmm. Like. Phew. I don't need to fight. I sneeze loud and everybody hears about it. It's like, but then it's like, hold up. You guys just want me to sit out in Venice. This is what everybody wants. So uh, I'm over here like not feeling. I told, I said it after the fight the first time that I was institutionalized in this fight game and stuff. And it really stayed like that. And what's happening was I'm telling myself to take, take it easy and don't train and don't do stuff. 
because I'm not fighting. I need to, you know, but I'm like, f all that. So I'm training all these the last three years harder than anybody fighting. So I'm like, it's wear and tear. I'm like, if I'm gonna be training for all these, for, for with all my fighters for their fights and train for a lifestyle, and it's my hobby to train. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Why, why I live is like a fight. Like I'm here for recovery from home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I need to go just train somewhere else. I need a mm -hmm. beach and, a, and some palm trees and some nice looking <laughs> Because where I live is, is just like, it's hell. It's where I grew up in the same thing and only from a different perspective now. Because now I got some nice <laughs> and, uh, But I don't have... Um, I have everything you need, but, but there's nothing to do. Where I live, it's it's a it's a small smaller town. Everything shuts down at ten eleven o'clock. It's quiet. It's, it's, I'm living in a fight camp with no fight. So if something needed to ha something needed to happen, it was like <clears throat> I think the part of not fighting was not even the fight wasn't with the fighters no more. They're not on my level. The fight was with the whole organization, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm losing this fight if I'm just gonna sit here and die off in this little town. You know what I'm saying? Cause I could go all, all the concerts and go out and do all this cool shit that's offered to me all the time, but it's old. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I, I, I want to just get back to what I do. And uh, I didn't even want to fight when I was fighting for all those years. <clears throat> it's just what I did. I was on orders from a coach and my, my bro and, and, uh, and living the, the lifestyle and it institutionalized me. <laughs> institutionalizing me to that. Is that the right word I'm using? But that's yeah. what I mean. I, I, it makes sense, right? Yeah. So it like made me, made my my whole life is just arranged around that now. Cause I've been fighting for, I'm not even, I'm younger than everybody. I'm 34, I'm, I've been fighting for, um, since I was 18, 19 years old. How many years is that? 15. I, I'm the youngest OG in this whole shit, You know what I'm saying? Still here, I'm still winning the series too. You know what I'm saying? Still hopping in, finding top contenders, doing my thing. Hey, remember when they um, when they were like, Nate Diaz was removed from the rankings. And they'd be like, oh, you're out of the rankings. And now I've seen uh, people, the managers and shit, writing on the internet like, he, you got removed from the rankings, you ain't shit now. Like, <laughs> you don't know this, but I already called and arranged to fight out when 70. That day they moved me from the rankings. I'm like, how'd I sit in the rankings for three years anyways if I wasn't fighting? Mm -hmm. And with all their bad mouth, and they were doing them. And see what I'm saying? That was my fight was doing or, with the organization. So, what I'm gonna like, you know what? It's like, me and you ain't got no love for each other. We're like on, on going head to head. And then you're like, all right, well, hey man, I know we don't like each other, but this guy real quick. <laughs> How about no? <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? Because cause for a long time. That's where I've been. You, uh, <laughs> you, you, you referred to. Feel me? <laughs> you referred to yourself as like a like a soldier for a long time, you know, like like your your brother's army in Stockton, and you were you were a soldier. It doesn't like feel it. like you're like oh. you, you are a soldier still, but it doesn't Ooh. feel feels like you're your own boss now. Like you you, you graduated. I'm a from Nick Diaz army soldier always, always, <clears throat> still, still, and always. I mean, it just feels like something something changed in a great way for you with the Connor fight. The, the both the Connor fights, mm. you know, because like I remember you negotiating deals for those fights and then getting what you were worth, you know, and like that's that's a great thing. But then it also puts you in this position where it's like now you're you're like you said you're, you're training, what am I reaching for but now? you're not getting anything. What am I reaching for now? That's what I'm saying. I hit the bottom. I hit the top, and for? then they're asking me to then they're asking me to uh, do this downgrade. I'm like, okay, I see what's happening. You're de downgrading me, degrading my whole thing. You're putting like, me in How did they do You're, that? Yeah, I know what's in it, and they're making me look like a complainer. I'm like, I never called. I never called you guys. You know what I'm saying? You guys called me. Hey, what's up? We know we're a rude, and we weeded you away, and we we made you disappear with the Mayweather McGregor. You know what I'm saying? I'm how like, did they make you disappear with that? Like, how? What did What did they do that made you feel like they were? Making you disappear. Well, and the, and the Eddie Alvarez. That was a good matchup. That was a good win, easy win for him. They're like, bam, bam. he just was put in all the right places. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even hating on that. That's great. That's cool as hell, and it's good. It's cool what he's doing and did and whatever he did. Mm -hmm. But like, you're a spoiled little though because they they handed you all that. You didn't do. Mm -hmm. If you came from where I came from. 
from the beginning, you wouldn't even made it into the fight, mm -hmm. the first one. And I'm like, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Throw me some, throw me some uh, love out here from time to time. But it's not only love, it's just like, sure, you know with that. All right, ooh, look, title fight with Eddie. Eddie's easy. Yeah. You're the two-time champ. I beat him in between when he knocked out Aldo. I f***ed him up. Beat him again, but lost. Then he fights for a title. Mm -hmm. Then he fights Mayweather. And then they're like, and this guy's turning down fights. Is that not a kick in the ass? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hold up. I don't need to be no part of none of that, but can I get a compliment? What what should have happened after the second fight? I mean, they, they they had a plan for him, obviously, right? What 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 plan should out. what should the plan have been for you? Like I, I mean, you you guys were in the biggest fight in UFC history. I don't at like that how time. they're like he did so much and he did so much. Remember originally it was like the machine, the machine, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? The machine fed that m to the world, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting But that's just a learning experience too, though. When I was younger, I remember doing, I remember Dana White flying me out when I was a youngster. I was like, I want an ultimate fighter. I tapped out everybody on the show. I don't think anybody's ever done that, too. I just finished everybody. You get bonuses when you finish. I probably made the most money in that show out of everybody. I was 21. Mm -hmm. That was hella years ago. Dude, come on. Look, I was 21 years old. I went on that show. I tapped out all these guys. <clears throat> smoked the show. And there were already stars in there. The guy who beat Pulver, the coach. And then I went and I fought like three black belts in jiu-jitsu on the purple belt. I fought like three black belts. So that was a big thing. I'm fighting three black belts in jiu-jitsu now. Mm -hmm. Serious UFC stuff. Mm -hmm. Not ultimate fighter stuff. And I just smoked through these fools. Choked them all. Fight. I was like, dude, give me some contenders. I ain't playing. I don't need no baby like you're doing. I don't know. I want to fight real, the best dude. <clears throat> they gave me Josh Neer, who was the uh, top contender at the time, and he was um, he was a uh, he was a hard ass fight at the time, and and he I won that one, so I won four fights in a row, uh, one Ultimate Fighter, so I beat four dudes in Ultimate Fighter. So I'm like already eight zero, and you see Dan Watch flying me out like, hey, come on, let's play poker and do this and that. And he took me out there. I'm just a kid. Mm -hmm. He takes me to play poker. I don't know how to play no poker. I'm in Vegas with Dana White in a Ben Davis jacket. Like, what's up? What are we about <laughs> to do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, so now I realize, like, oh, it was my time. And he's like, okay, dude, we're gonna we're gonna put you. In. I was too young and I didn't know nothing about none of that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. So then he said to me, he flew me out to Boston one time, and uh, everyone's there. Diego Sanchez and. Uh, Everlast, remember Everlast? Yep. I've seen in, in a bunch yeah. of people. Uh, uh, what's that band that does uh, Jump Around? Is that Everlast? Jump Around. Jump. <clears throat> so they were all there, Everlast. and it's cool as hell, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> and later I did start about this a while ago. I was like, oh. He was like, they that were trying to time. play. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Some people need to talk to a little young mother like me, but everybody else is from college nowadays, so they know what. No, it's that. so I learned that from experience. Now I know that. Uh -huh. I'm like, okay, so I missed that boat. And then they started giving me losing this funny decisions. And then I'm like, no, nah, hell no. Then I fought Roy McDonald and Don Young came at 170. Mm -hmm. And then I fought Roy Markham, who didn't make weight. He was like 188 pounds. And they're like, we're going to have to, we're going to have to loophole this. You know, this is a middleweight bout. And it was my first fight at 170. So I was like, what? This Biggest, but where I'm a little kid, I'm like, they're like, they didn't want to learn though. You want to fight, fight him uh, middleweight, and I'm like, yeah, we're <laughs> here to fight somebody, right? You know what I'm saying? They yeah. heard me, everything was good. I went and fought him, smashed him hella quick. Mm -hmm. Now 185 pound fight. Then I fought Rory McDonald, and uh, <clears throat> I fought Rory McDonald and and um, Dong Young Kim, who were both. He had just beat Condit, I think. Roy McDonald. Did he beat Condit or mm -hmm. lose to him? Mm -hmm. Did he well, beat him? Or he was beating he was him beating all the him way up and then lost, lost yeah. to him. Yeah. And that was my first fight. 170. He's a big old <laughs> And if you ever watch that fight, I got slammed in that fight because I got tired because I fought him different. I was young. Mm -hmm. And uh, that fight was even the whole time. I was winning, most likely. And then he slammed me in. And, and now that's what people remember. That he slammed. I was like, hold up. Watch that fight. That's a competitive fight. Mm -hmm. I got tired because I was... 
I was young in the game too. I didn't know how to fight is why I used up a lot of energy. I got tired. I remember it's every round. I'm like, tired. <laughs> and he slams me, so I so I lost that. I lost that. I'm like, okay. And then uh, I, was, I, I got smaller when I went up, so I was like, I gotta go back to lightweight. So I fought all these dudes who got all title fight, fight, right, fight or two later. And I went back to 55. I started smashing everybody at 55. I get for a title t- contention. Then she wasn't around. I'm like, I'm fighting for a title for this, for pennies. I don't even want to do this fight. But I'm signed up, so let's go. I'm, first of all, I'm a G, so I'm going to go fight this dude real quick. So I went and fought the dude. Lost the decision, then then I got the the, the Osano's fight. Didn't train a day, hurt myself. I like I got bills to pay though, so I'm about to do this. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I trained, I fought him. I don't even know who else I fought afterwards. What I'm saying is, is like this whole time I've been in UFC since I was 21, I fought top contenders, mm-hmm. and if they beat me, they got title shots, and then it became somebody in the name or something. And most of the time, they lost decisions. They weren't even real losses. I'm like, all right, whatever. And then uh, <clears throat> I'm winning the series. This is what it started. I'm still, I'm winning the series. I'm like, I'm still, and now I'm right here fighting this dude. And then after that, if I, I, everything comes out clean, I'm going to fight for a title fight. I, they were just offering me GSP, Khabib, and Connor for a tournament. And I'm like, okay, well, that's what we're going to do. Well, that sounds. I mean, that sounds like a good plan to me, though. Uh, yeah, right? it, was, I mean, it was great. They wanted to put, put me with GSP first, though, and I know he had some s- to sell it with my bro. I'm like, hey, mix that little mix up around. I'll mm-hmm. fight Khabib with Connor, and then whatever happened with them and everything, it kind of went. Psh, everybody had their their issues. I was like, all right, and then they all offered me Woodley, and it was on short notice, and uh, that in between, they're already saying I'm turning down all these fights, but they're still calling me for these fights. So I'm like, is that not them just? And degrading me and, so why, why were they saying that you were turning down fights? Did you ever turn down a fight? No, but when you come in with some petty like, like, like with what? Talking? Like what were they offering? I can't even remember. Like, who can we think of that were like just lame? I don't, I don't can't, I can't remember the name. Mm-hmm. And then they say it. I'm like, <laughs> and then like, like I wouldn't even talk to them, man. Like they called you with this. Like I'm like, all right. Yeah. I didn't even say no. I didn't even say yeah. I just felt like, all right, they're f***ing with me. And then it's all over the news. And so now everywhere I go, quit turning out fights. Post a picture of me at the beach. Like, I love the beach. Take a fight, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, that's cold. I mean, is there any, is there anything that you, you did? So why am I going to fight for these people and go out of my way to go try to fight when it's like that? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, and, that, and what I'm saying is that. <clears throat> with all the criticism that I got for, for, for not fighting too, especially from the any fighter talking, you're out of pocket. Shut your ass up. I still have more fights than any of you not mm-hmm. fighting. Mm-hmm. And uh, it just, it's just like, when I'm going to fight. Like, I never called you guys and said, can I fight Khabib and Connor and and GSP? Can I call? Can I fight Tyrone and Willie? That fight fell through because they were like short notice. I was like 172 pounds, 74 pounds. They're like... Hey, you want to fight welterweight title in like three weeks or something? And I'm like, yeah, let's do this. But yo, give me some, give me some. We gonna have to money up for this. But I'm with it. Whenever I not showed up, too, I'm like, I'll pop up and, and do my thing. And then uh, that's how that fight went. So I'm like, I'm like, how am I, how am I turning down fighters that ain't worth? But I could fight any title fight if I have all the best fights offered to me. I'm like, whoa. That you know what I'm saying, and then they bought they they bad mouthed me off it. So three years of that went on, and then I was like, all right, you know what? Pattinson's knocking out Thompson and doing all this cool shit when he fights, and I'm like, man, that's an eligible opponent, mm-hmm. and I dig that. So that's what I I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I don't <clears throat> I don't need to be signing up for fights though, just to um. Just cause I, like people, I want to punch someone in the face. Like that's not that's not cool. I want to like I want to fight. That's gonna <clears throat> motivate me to want to fight. Not a fight that's just for like some and some extra cash when I already got a whole bunch of. This <laughs> Does any part of you uh, miss the days where it was more simple though, and and you just you just did want to fight 
everybody. It didn't have to be like the perfect circumstance. I got what you're saying now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you ever miss it was those way days? better when I was sent in like a soldier. Now I'm like, no one tell me. <laughs> I mean, how, how, you, you've kind of explained it, but but how, how do you decide what fight is worth you taking now after everything you've done and the money that you've made and you've been in the biggest fights? So like, what does it require to to get to get you in there? Like, what 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 does motivate you at this point? Good fighters and good fights. Mm -hmm. How many of those are there in the UFC right now? A <sighs> um, couple, of maybe. And then uh, <clears throat> every day something changes, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially with all the fights going on. Mm -hmm. The fighters are boring on the whole game. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, where's, like... Dude, where are people at? Where's Jake Ellenberger and like, uh, and uh, you know how many people I saw like come into the game way after me, win a couple of fights, be this new hot, <laughs> become a champion, you're the guy, and then you're on a downhill, and then you have one more win, and then you and then you're gone. Mm -hmm. Like so many of those have came and gone, and I was here, and I'm still here. Mm -hmm. and it's just like. You gotta be be doing something something good for for anybody to want to unless you're just some little and everybody's just telling you go fight him little go fight him little that's just a bunch of little <laughs> when you kind of you kind of had that set up that you, like like with your brother in the in the old days but you can't go back to him now like once you move past yeah him, but it wasn't like that it was more like. You know what I'm saying? Like the UFC or anybody could have told me whatever. My brother and my coach would have told me to do something. That's what, what it was. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but time changes, man, and everybody's like, it comes to a point where no one wants to tell you. <clears throat> Were the last three years uh, hard hard for you? Not, not and then everybody wants to tell you, but they don't know. Man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, were they were they tough? Because it's not like like you like you said you were you were training, but you didn't have a fight to train for. Was that difficult? Was that hard on you? No, just it's irritating that nobody can. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, dude, I can't be having to sit here and watch lame go on <clears throat> and just go away though. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, can someone do something cool so there's something to do? It's different, yeah. It's different. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather be. I don't know. Yeah, people think you don't want to be active. Are they wrong? Should nobody be active on. What happened with the Dustin Poirier fight? You were you were scheduled to fight Dustin Poirier at the end of last year. It didn't happen. Why not? Because, because <clears throat> Dustin Poirier out. Is what happened. He he uh, he he was. We were supposed to fight, and there was some, whatever going on with me in the UFC <clears throat> was happening because they, they were me or I was with them, however they want to say it. But he jumped out of the fight because he couldn't deal with it. You know, he couldn't know. deal with what. <sighs> He couldn't sleep at night when he got to think about, it. well, I'm like, why are you even worried about me? You're supposed to be a fighter. Don't worry about what I got going on. I'm showing up to fight you. Why did you pull out and why is no one asking you that? Mm. And why are you getting a title shot? That's a win for me. I already beat him. You know what I'm saying? If me and you are supposed to meet to train tomorrow for training for jujitsu or boxing or MMA or whatever, mm -hmm. We have an appointment. We're going tomorrow at 7 p.m. and we're going to train, mm -hmm. me and you. And if you get the stomach ache or your toothache or your hair or it ain't done or something ain't right or your girlfriend is mad and you don't make it to 7 o'clock, you lost, dude. Mm -hmm. You can't make it. You can't cut it. Straight up. That's an L. I know you said that you're... Justify it however you want to. Like, what? Nor are they... Watch somebody give them... A lot of money and told him to sit out, paid in full. You think that's what happened? You tell me what happened. I don't How know. How come no one talks about it? I don't know. But I'm not trying to bring up old stuff. I don't care. I don't got no problem with Dustin Poirier. <clears throat> He's doing his thing. 
they, they're doing that's in the past. That's a dub for me. That's an L for him. And um, somebody, somebody, something happened. Nate, I know you've said that you're you're done with Connor, and I can understand why. Mm -hmm. I can completely understand why you would say that. But like, as far as the sport goes, I mean, when you think about like just I gotta go to the restroom real quick. <laughs> Is that a lot? Yeah, go for it. But uh, but now I gotta I got some good stuff to go in on now. <laughs> you guys shouldn't have warmed me up. Well, you were willing to give him the second fight, and then and then the fight was closed. That's what I mean, though. Like what? I gave you the second fight, like, should have pieced out in the sunset, but I ain't no I ain't no show. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, that's that's fair. Let's do that. Yeah. Why I feel not? like there has to be a third fight be between you and Connor. But in the end, it's not even fair. I should have just beat his ass and went on my way. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I have a moral against anyway. I'm like, well, let's do it again then. Mm -hmm. But other people don't have that moral. You know what I'm saying? They, that's why there ain't no real fighters. That's why you're in for five minutes and then you're out. Even Connor's on his way. Where are you at? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And no matter how much money and whatever he's doing that's good, you still need to fight. You know what I'm saying? It's like, this is what you do. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, it's going to drive you crazy not doing what you do. Because do you, do you think he's he's happy with the way that... It, that I mean, if, 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 if there's only two fights between you two, do you think he's content with what happened in them? Connor, do you think he's all right with what happened in those two fights? I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. You got smashed on your face and, and choked in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. Got a rematch like a little spoiled little baby. Like, where's my rematch? It's still, still for him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, and then you came back and won a, a little decision that could have went either way. I don't even care for the big decision. It's not the same. Is that time to war? You dead, dog. I got all your. Shit. It's all mine. Everything. There is no second fight. That's what happened with that. There yeah. was no second fight. Do you think that's part of the reason why why you, you and the UFC have have, have uh, butted heads over the last three years is just because they owe you that fight? Like, they, like that was kind of set up that if he won, it, there was going to be a third one, and then it, it hasn't happened yet. You yeah, and then, and then just, like, the fact that it's, like, if I'm not going to fight that fight, that's cool. I'm, I understand I ruined all your plans. <laughs> that's cool. Ran up, peace out with that. But don't start net saying I turned down fights now. Like, you already didn't give me another fight. Mm -hmm. And he was okay with it. I thought, like, whatever, he'll fight me again because he's a fighter. You like, come on, you you can't be content with a decision. You got choked on your face. Beyond beyond Anthony Pettis being a good fighter and and going out and, and he had a great knockout over Stephen Thompson and he's a real fighter. What where is this fight taking you? Like, do you, like where do these? Because you know, when you're in when you're in the middle of a career, your your fights are are taking you to something, right? Mm -hmm. Like, where is this fight taking you? It's at 170 pounds, which is nice. This of course. fight it, is taking me away from all the lame ass fighters that aren't doing. Get in love and then, and then uh, not doing anything with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't have a goal. I'd be like, I'm gonna do this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fight this guy, and do my best to win. And then when I win, I'm gonna do something with that. Mm -hmm. Mics are on. You better make something happen. You, cause like, what are you gonna do? Just fight. That's what I'm saying. When am I gonna fight? What are you gonna fight somebody for? Just to. Get paid. It's different now. It's like, what, just for a pay paycheck like that? You kind of deserve your ass whipped if you're just fighting, fighting for only just, just for some more money. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm di I came from normal Like, mm -hmm. what I'm going to, I need more money? Well, then I'll go s sit at a dispensary and smoke weed with people for two hours for a hell of money. <laughs> That's getting boring. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, Man, I've been kicking and punching my head and being in a lot of fights for a long time. And it's like, now when someone knocks someone out all cool on TV and everybody's like, that guy's the man. You're like, hold up. That's who I want to fight. You know what I'm saying? The guy mm -hmm. who's doing, doing a... I feel like I'm in a position to be able to pick and choose because i already done more than all these fighters, you know? Mm -hmm. 
So that's my thoughts on that. It's cool, but it's like I would I would like to uh, just fight somebody when it's. Well, that's why, as someone who watches the sport, I feel like like you've you've done more than like like most guys need to need, need to go after a title. Most guys need that sort of motivation, or most most guys need that storyline, and you don't. And neither does Connor in the storyline between because you look two. Because the champions. Who are the champions? Right now? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, who's you, the champion in my weight class? Fifty-five and seventy. Fifty-five is Khabib. Okay. Seventy is Kamaru Usman. Okay. I mean, it'd be I, nice. I, I, I feel like I'm just better and cooler than those guys. <laughs> the hell do I want to fight them for? Pettis is cooler than both of them. Fight, fight wise. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Remember Street Fighter? I want to see that. Versus that guy, mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying, or just at school when you just knew two dudes who kicked, and you were like, I wonder what would happen if them fools fight, you know? It's mm -hmm. like that's that's the one that I think about it from an outside perspective too. If I was somebody who want to watch me fight in the UFC, I would want to <clears throat> watch me fight Connor or Pettis or yeah. You know, Masvidal just did his thing the other day. That was great, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like stuff like that. <laughs> With all due respect, motivates you to want to fight that person because they've done some great so, Stick that in my bag of great you know, in the fight, fight world. It's like, you got the guys, the guys kicking them. That's where you start fighting in the fight for in the first place, right? Mm -hmm. Fight the best fighters, the mm -hmm. coolest fighters, the, the best. That's the sport I signed up for when I signed up. So I, ha I want to ask you directly, uh, <clears throat> sitting here, do, do you think, and, and I'm asking as a fight fan, do you think that you and Connor will fight a third time? Time will tell, I'm sure. I'm sure probably, but it's about, I think it's about just timing. And do you think you and Khabib If he still will fights, like... if they still fight, if everything lines up, Mm. That's the only guy that I'll fight right now is those two. I don't want to fight no Usman or no um, Khabib's the guy I'll fight him. If if he wanted to, though, I ain't no bully. I already tried. I was like, what's up? Let's do this. And then <clears throat> whatever, they're just the champions now. It's like, okay, champ. I was here before you. Mm -hmm. Way before you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hey, that's all. I'm the champ. I'm going to fight the guy in line. You're going to fight the guy I beat, Poirier, Dustin Poirier, the guy who hurt himself, the guy who took the money and didn't do the fight. Whatever the reason, he's not very cool for that reason to me. I'm a fan of uh, martial arts and fight. But when you do stuff, that takes you out of my cool book. Lots of cool points. <laughs> I mean, are you going to get this figured out, or is, is it possible that you fight Does anybody anyone here know you know about this stuff? Know about this stuff, or am I just talking to him? <laughs> I'm wondering if I'm just like, what is this guy talking about? Yeah. We're supposed to get dinner. I mean, we're kind of in the weeds occasionally, you Sometimes, and I. Sometimes, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. well, I'm, I'm like, you feel me? I don't think these people are knowing me. No one, what, what I'm doing. We're almost done. I just want to ask it's you. Because when you're in a room of people, like, I'm talking to everybody, too. I'm like, man. Well, just a couple more questions. Do you guy? think that this is going to get figured out, or do you think that there is a possibility that you'll fight Anthony Pettis and then you don't fight again for a long time? And uh, how it plays out, I would like to just get along with everybody, and I would like to just keep the keep the show rolling for a while. You know, mm -hmm. I got, I've been training. I'm uh, I'm, I'm ready to <clears throat> ready to be in the game. I don't. I'm not going to say back in the game because I've been in the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just, I'm just, hopefully this one leads into, you know, and if it, and if it uh, doesn't work out the best way, then, uh, then I'm still going to find my way back at you or back up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about it. Yeah. How many fights do you have left on your UFC contract? I don't even know. I think a few. Would it, could you ever see a day where UFC is maybe not, not where it's at anymore? Yeah, do you have interest in boxing? Could we see you in another sport? At this point, it's not even the, uh, the, the organizations or anything. It's about, for me, I want, that's what I'm saying. I want to fight the best guys. Mm. So I want to wherever the best. best. <clears throat> right now, it's for sure in the UFC. 
you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's just like how it is, though. Who knows if Usman or Khabib are even going to be champions in two weeks? Changes. Mm -hmm. Changes, you know? These guys. I can't tell you, dude. I'm going to fight Anthony Pettis and then we're going to go from there. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Anything I hope else? somebody does some cool shit though. After in the meantime, you know, mm -hmm. I enjoy good fights. I do a lot of fight watching when I'm not watching nowadays. Yeah. Before, when I was younger, I used to watch everything. <clears throat> but now it's like, all right, this is very entertaining. So I'm going to a concert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and special content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.